Welcome to the daily word for the season of Pentecost. Today's reading is from the book of Ezekiel, chapter thirty-six, verses twenty-three to twenty-eight. I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, and which you have profaned among them. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when through you. I display my holiness before their eyes. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses and from all your idols. I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone, and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you, and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. Then you shall live in the land that I gave to your ancestors, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. This is the word of the Lord. A tender heart. Years ago, my laptop shut down all of a sudden. I tried to fix it in different ways, but all effort went in vain. I burned with anxiety when I thought of the precious photos and study notes I had kept in the computer. I really did not want to lose the priceless photos and information. I end up visiting a computer shop. That I was familiar with. After examining the laptop professionally, the shop owner informed me that the CPU had broken down. There would be no remedy other than replacing the CPU. The CPU is the soul of any computers. When applied to humans, a CPU is a heart. When it breaks down, a life will lose its colors. Today's reading is taken from Ezekiel. As we study the text more specifically, it belongs to the second half of the book. The first half of the prophetic book explains how the Israelites betrayed God. Their rotten hearts led them to worship idols instead of counting on God. God responded by announcing His judgment and punishment. Jerusalem would fall into the hands of Babylon, and many Israelites, including Ezekiel, would become captives to the Babylonians. In the last chapter of the first half of the book of Ezekiel, chapter thirty-three, we see the fall of the holy city. The Israelites had to face the worst predicament they had ever imagined. The second half of the prophetic book shows a completely different picture. The reading reminds us that God did not abandon His people; instead, He saved them with His own hands by making them clean again, and by giving them a tender heart of flesh. The Israelites would then stay away from the idols and false gods. They created their identities as God's people was resumed at the moment they walk up to God to listen to His teachings and practice them. For my broken laptop, I eventually decided not to replace the CPU since that would be too expensive. Fortunately, the precious information was retrieved with the help. Of the shop owner. On the other hand, God is faithful, righteous, and merciful. In today's reading, we see that He is willing to replace the heart of stone with a heart of flesh at all costs. Today, we share the same grace through the death and resurrection of His Son Jesus Christ. God has made us clean from sinfulness. 
and renewed our hearts, so that we may have hope to return to the embrace of God's love. Brothers and sisters, do we treasure this precious grace from God, or are we still ruled by the rotten heart of stone? Do we still indulge in the vanity of idols? May the Lord help us, and the Holy Spirit renew us, so that we may welcome this precious grace from God. Help us understand and observe His will. With a tender heart of flesh, so that we may be good witnesses for God. Amen. Let us have a time of reflection. Are we sometimes stubborn as stones? Are we willing to humble ourselves so that the Holy Spirit may fall upon us to renew our hearts? How do you want your life to be a witness for the God? Let us pray. Righteous and merciful Father, give us courage to admit our wrongdoings. Have mercy on us, and grant us a tender heart that can understand Your will. Pray that we may genuinely do justice and love kindness in our life, so that we can be good witnesses for You. Amen.